uh, she's the best. So, I mean, it's, it's in the name. <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, you're. I'm gonna get this out of the way so that really can stand out. Oh gosh, ladies and gentlemen, your next comment coming to the stage. Are you ready for your next comment? Okay. <laughs> a very, very funny roast show every month called Mean Words with Friends. He's a great friend of mine, even though all of the mean words that he says to me. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Keith Cameron! Keep it going for Chad, everybody. Yeah, he was trying to figure out a name for Mass of Laughs uh, before it was, and I was like, why don't you call it a bunch of mass holes? He was like, no, this isn't a church, Keith. I'm like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, so here we are. A um, little bit about myself, I am 33. I, I went, used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I was born. Uh, anybody lived in the South or been to the South? Woo. Woo. See, nobody's ever proud of it. And it's for a reason, because the South is awful. It <laughs> is. Um, I mean, there's some good things about it, like I'm a huge hip-hop fan, uh, that's the epicenter of hip-hop for me. But, uh, like, I always wanted to grow up to be a rapper, but, like, look at me, I look like I'd offend the band Sublime in arguments. I, I, that's not a good, uh, like, what am I gonna rap? I have cats. Walk up in the club with cat hair on my jacket. That's not a good song. That's not, that's not edgy, that's not threatening. Um, I ride the bus a lot, like I'm gonna shoot up your house until I figure out the bus route. No, Keith, that's gonna go double aluminum. Don't put that out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do miss certain things about being, uh, like, 30, like, being 33 is the weirdest age ever because there's certain things that will never be the same. Like, I have a son and he'll never experience some of the same TV shows that I experience. Like, Fresh Prince, The Power Rangers. I was a huge Power Rangers fan back in like 93, 94 when it was a little bit racist but nobody said anything about it. <laughs> it was like the, the Yellow Ranger was the Asian yeah, chick. Uh, the Black Ranger, uh, he was the black guy who practiced hip hop keto. That's not, that's mean. That is mean. Like look it up, he practiced hip hop. Like he can only fight with a dance beat. Come on. <laughs> the White Ranger was the best. Um, <laughs> Those who laughed at that joke, I feel like we need to keep eyes on. We have to look a test for everybody. Um, appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Things are, things are kind of good uh, for me right now. Um, I just celebrated two, uh, two years of being married not too long ago. Um, she's not here. Y'all have that that excited. Um, but yeah, I celebrated uh, being married. Uh, I uh, have a really good job. That's kind of crazy to have a job I love. Like, I've had so many jobs I've hated in my life. Like, I, uh, my last job before the one I have now, I was a telemarketer, which, yeah, yeah, yeah judge me all you want. Uh, I quit that job real quick when uh, I was told to go kill myself in every time zone in one day. That's four times, if you're counting. Uh, that's too much on my heart. I don't need to hear that. Um, but yeah, that was not a good job. Uh, but the one I have now, I'm a bouncer. I love my job. Like, I love dealing with people. Uh, but there are certain things that I've dealt with that I'll never understand. Um, I was, uh, there was a situation where this woman came into my bar, and have you ever seen anybody walk uphill on a flat surface? They're so drunk. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that in front of me. That's not good. Like, I'm like, hey, ma'am, you can't come into my bar. She's like, why? Is it because I'm too hot? Really? <laughs> too hot? That's never a statement a bouncer has ever said ever in the hit. Like, you really left fours and below. Get out, man. You don't do that. I was like, no, it's a little bit of puke that's on your shoe. Um, and she was like, at least I have shoes to puke on. Racist and walked off into the night. She was white, which was really weird. Like, I feel like you should Google words before you say that. Um, yeah, I had two people try to go to the bathroom together. I'm like, y'all can't do that. It was a guy and a girl. And the guy was like, oh man, we were just trying to have sex. Again, don't tell the bouncer these things. <laughs> don't do that. I don't know, man. I, uh, it's weird. Uh, my, my life is weird. I'm a huge stoner as well. Uh, give it up to Pilots now. <laughs> or don't, whatever. Hi. drunk and I don't smoke weed. All right, that's cool for y'all. Um, but no, I do smoke weed and I, I love weed culture. I trim weed. 
Uh, but there's certain things about me that I can't do anymore at 33. Like there's certain things I've realized about myself. Like I can smoke flour all day long, but I will never do a dab again in my life. Anybody familiar with dabs? Yeah. 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 Again, same thing with the South. Nobody's really proud of it. Like, yeah, I, 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 if you don't know what it is, it's kind of like a crackhead and a pothead got together and shared some ideas. You know, like, I love what you're doing with crack. Well, I love what you're doing with weed. Let's add butane to it for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> Dad will get you so high you think an ATM. That's not. That's a machine. It's done doing what you're supposed to do, and now people know you just thanked a machine. All right. They think you're in on a conspiracy. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, but like, I'd much rather, as a bouncer, though, like I said, I, I'd much rather deal with stoners than drunk people. Drunk people are the absolute worst. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, yeah everybody knows that. It's not like a like a disputed fact. Um, I was threatened with ninja retaliation yesterday. <laughs> you know what? I was kind of like, I want to see where this goes. I want to see some ninjas. But then knowing my shitty luck, I'd be like, yeah, you're not a fucking ninja. And then the ninja star, like, all right, cool. <laughs> cool. This is how I know how. All right. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm married, and, and it's interesting because not only do I have a good job, uh, I, I'm married, I have a really cool roommate, which is like the Portland trifecta. My wife does not like me calling her my roommate. She has not like that at all. She's like, please stop saying that to a microphone. Uh, I'm offended by that. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. It's fun, though. Uh, but, it's different. Like I, I, I wasn't good at dating, so I'm kind of glad I'm married. I, I was never good at it. I, I, I got. I went to a bar and I asked two sisters how long they've been sisters. That's not how you go home with somebody. How long have you been related to people that have been related forever since they were born? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. I, I know that. Um, I don't know, but like it's it's weird though being a bouncer because I I have to be. You know I have to stop. Things that I have to stop fun. I don't like having to stop fun all the time. Like when I worked at Roseland, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that concert venue. Yeah. 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 Don't smoke there because these motherfuckers know you're doing it. Like, <laughs> like they know it. Like I don't. I I, I never want to stop fun ever because it's just not. You know, like. Uh, and don't do that. If, if you know that you just got caught smoking weed, don't try to do. We see you. <laughs> We're looking right at you right now. That's, that's weird. Like. Um, Side note about dabs though, I had somebody come into my line and I like patted him down and I was like, what's that? And he was like, it's my asthma pump. It was a dab ring. Like a whole, a whole dab ring. That was weird as shit to me. And then his girlfriend comes in and was like, oh, I don't know him. Unprompted. Which, I don't know if you know anything about lying, but that chick was doing it. Uh, and she had the whole butane torch with her. I'm like, okay, cool. So you might not be with that guy, but uh, what drum solo is good enough for a butane torch? <laughs> I like this band. <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've lived out in Portland about four years now. Um, I do like it. Uh, like I said, I love weed culture. It's great. Uh, back home, weed was not legal. Weed wasn't legal at all. I had a friend who six months for a seed. Right, that's crazy, but out here I had a cop like, dude, not on the street, go behind that building. All right, you have a gun in the bag, I'm gonna listen to you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. Uh, but I, I just wish, I wish the stray names would just stop with their ridiculous ass names. Like, they're, 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 there's dog shit cherry pie, ew. I'm gonna smoke it, but ew. Uh, God, bud, I said I grew up in the South, I grew up religious. That's kind of fucked up, but also I will try it. Um, <laughs> but they're not descriptive in the names. Like you have crazy, but like, I just want them to be accurate. Like let me get a grant uh, that you're you're gonna be here a while. Um, <laughs> let me get an eighth, but that's not a midget. That's just a base in the corner key. Um, <laughs> when y'all got in the way of pre rolls, now I understand dubstep. <laughs> Some of y'all laugh, I heard some of y'all draw back, like, don't make fun of dubstep. Oh, I will. Oh my god. Oh my god, dubstep is the worst music I've ever heard in my entire life. Um, like, it, it, if you don't know what dubstep is, it's kind of the sound a computer would make if you misgender it. <laughs> just angry and offended and just pissed at you. Like, I don't like that. I don't like to 
hear the sounds of Megatron fucking a volcano. None of that sounds good. No, I don't want to hear that in my ears. I don't. Um, I got have a roommate. I got off Craigslist. If you ever have a chance to get a raw roommate off Craigslist, fucking don't do it. <laughs> do not avoid that. Because uh, again, like the weed, they're not descriptive. It's not like, hey, uh, quiet neighborhood, uh, really, really nice uh, uh, neighbors. Only this is dubstep. Specifically dubstep at 3 in the morning. Like, they don't tell you that. I had a roommate who was a 43-year-old dubstep DJ. His name was Zach, and he was really big into astrology. Yes, yes. This was a real thing, and his DJ name was Zodi Zach. I'm like, that's not even original. Oh, I'm so mad at that guy. Um, God damn, yeah. I'm just venting up here. I missed my therapy last week, so I'm just kind of getting it out right now. That's what we're doing. This is as sad as much as a, a group activity. I don't know, man. Uh, but Portland's crazy. Like, it is. Uh, growing up in Atlanta, you have certain things uh, that, that Portlanders, and Oregon really, doesn't have any idea with. Um, I had a drug dealer back home. Big surprise. I know. Um, but he had a pit bull with his teeth taken out and surgical steel jaws put in. Right, that's insane. But then I come to Portland and I see dogs and strollers and babies on leashes. And I'm like, I, all right, cool, cool Portland. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And I don't want to be like, ma'am, why is your dog in a stroller? Because I don't know if it identifies the baby or not. And I'm not trying to make people mad. I don't like making people mad. Um, but yeah, just, it, was, it was crazy out there. Like I, uh, but crazy is crazy across the board. Like there's a lot of you know uh, people going through things out in Portland. Uh, uh, you know homeless camps, things that are just I didn't experience. But at the same time, crazy is crazy. Uh, I, I heard two people getting into an argument, and one woman said to another, "Bitch, you don't know me. I'm from Gresham," which isn't a threatening statement <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not threatened. If you have a Whole Foods in your neighborhood, that's not that's not a good thing at all. Like to be. Like, what are you gonna gangbang in a gazebo? Stop, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> y'all are the fun audience. I really like that. I really do. Um, I don't know, but uh, growing up in the South, like, there's things that, that I wasn't like. It was. I grew up as Southern Baptist. I don't know if you've known any Southern Baptists, but they're some of the worst people you ever meet. Ooh, I love yeah. Oh. Do you? Okay. Well, y'all will know this firsthand. How does the Southern Baptist say, fuck you? I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> yep. You hear that? You don't pray for me, Linda. You pray for yourself. Uh, if, also, if you show a Southern Baptist a picture of your baby and it is not an attractive baby, you will hear, oh, well, bless his heart. <laughs> I like the ones that aren't laughing because they probably heard that at one point in time. Um, that's it. Just shit on the audience. That's my whole set. <laughs> Everybody. Love it. Oh, God. Um, but it is weird, like, like, coming out here, and I'm trying to be more socially conscious. I really am. Um, and I, I've realized uh, something in my life, and I don't want to be a preachy comic by any means, but, like, dudes, we have fucked up. Like, we've had our time. Like, we really have. Like, we've had a great run. God, straight white dudes have had a great run. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's over for us. We, we cannot seem to stop fucking up, uh, and I get it. Like, I honestly feel like I'd be 100% gay if 90% of the dicks weren't attached to such awful people. <laughs> and uh, the other 10% of the dicks that are attached to good people are usually attached to women. Uh, so... <laughs> You know what they say, the only way to stop a bad guy with a dick is a good one with a bigger dick. Um, <laughs> this is not, not, this is not great humor, guys. Y'all are just in for the ride. Uh, I will leave you with this, though. Um, actually, that was it. Thank y'all very much. Yeah.